Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm a semantics. Today we have a very interesting exponential equation from entrance examination, 3 to the power x equal to x. And we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and then we will check our answer. So right now, how can we solve this question? First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. On the left side, okay, as a result, what do we have? We have natural log of 3 to the power x. We're going to apply it on the left side and we're going to apply it on the right side. So natural log, natural log x. Right now, we need to know a really great property. This property looks like that. I hope everyone uh, knows this property. So we have natural log of a to the power b. We can write it as b times natural log b times natural log a. Okay, this is our property. So this x will come down right here in the beginning. So as a result, we have x times natural log 3 equal to natural log natural log x. Okay, this is our this is our first step. What are we gonna do next? Right now, let's divide both sides by x. Let's do this. Let's divide both sides by x. But before this, we can easily okay. Let's do it. Let's divide both sides by x. It's better for you to for do for do this right now. So let's divide both sides by x. As a result, what do we have? We have x times natural log three. We're gonna divide by this x equal to natural log x. We're gonna divide by by this x because I won't like to change position but right now let's let's divide both sides by x first of all. As a result we can easily cancel this x right here. So of course x is not equal to zero which is extremely important at the moment. So we divide both sides by this x and right now because I want to do this before and I was thinking about it but right now let's do this. Let's change position. So let's write nature log x over x on the left side and this nature log 3 on the right side. So let's do this right now. Okay so we have nature log x over x is equal to equal to natural log 3. So we hope you understand uh, explanation until this moment. First of all, natural log on both sides, dividing both sides by x and changing, changing position because everyone prefer a constant on the right side, not on the left side, but on the right side. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Right now we need to know a really interesting thing which is called Lambert W function. Extremely important part for us because this function will help us to simplify expression on the left side. How, how does this function look like? Uh, for example, we have expression looks like a times e to the power a and whenever we apply lambert w function of this expression we have all the our a so for example we have 2 times e to the power 2 when we apply lambert w function to this expression so the main thing we need to have the same expression right here and right here so the power of e and expression mm, behind this e okay and when we apply lambert w function as a result we have only our 2 okay only our a a is equal to is equal to 2. So right now let's try to create this type of expression on our left side. Okay, how can we do this? First of all, we don't have e, we don't have like a same expression right here and right here. So how can we how can we work with this? First of all, I suggest you to write instead of this x, let's write expression with e. So instead of x, we can write e to the power natural log x. Okay, this is extremely important, not like substitution, but we can easily change this x by the same expression because when we simplify it, we have absolutely the same thing. We have only our x. So let's change this x right here with this e to the power natural log x. Let's do this right now. So as a result, we have natural log x in our numerator and in our denominator, we will have e to the power natural log x equal to natural log equal to natural log 3. Okay, this is our this our expression right now. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to write this expression from our numerator, from our denominator to our numerator. But we need to know a really important property. This is not like a property, this is the rule everyone know, I guess. For example, we have 1 over x to the power y. When we wanted to bring this y to our numerator, we need to write it as x to the power minus y. So we need to change this uh, sign right here. So x to the power minus y. So as a result, we can easily write it as uh, nature log x. So the same numerator and right here we can write it this expression from our denominator. So e to the power minus natural log x minus natural log x equal to natural log 3. Okay, so I hope you understand this explanation until this moment. Let's look closely right now. We have natural log x, we have looks like the same natural log x, and we have e. So a lot of students might be thinking, okay, maybe right now we need to apply lambert w function. But if you look closely, we have natural log x and minus natural log x. So it's not the same thing. So uh, uh, to do the same thing, we need to multiply both sides by minus 1. Okay, let's do this right here, or uh, let's indicate it right here. So uh, multiplying by minus minus 1. So uh, I, I hope you see this. So let's multiply both sides right here by minus 1. As a result, we have minus natural log x. Yeah, we have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 3. 
Okay, minus natural look. And right now, let's look closely. Minus natural look x right here, minus natural look x right here. For example, this is our a, this is also our a. So we have a times e to the power a expression that we really need to apply. Where do we have it? Yeah, we have it right here, Lambert w function. So we can easily apply Lambert w function to this to this expression. Let's do this. So Lambert w function of minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 3 okay this is our expression right now and what we're going to do what we're going to do right now minus nature log x of course and minus nature log x so as a result this expression on the left side is equal to only minus nature log x which simplifies us a lot minus nature log x and on the right side we have lambda w function of minus nature log minus nature log 3 what are we going to do next? Let's find our x, because we have nature log x, we need to find our x. Let's multiply both sides by minus 1. As a result, we will have only, only our nature log x on the left side, and on the right side we have minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 3. Okay, so I hope you understand this, uh, these steps. Right now we go in step by step to our x. We need to find our x. How can we do this? Really great method. I'm going to show you this really great method. We need to, find, we need to write base of e on both sides. So we create base of e on the left side. So with the same power and we create base of e on the right side, minus Lambert W function of minus nature log, nature log 3. Okay, but e to the power nature log x, right here you can easily see it, equal to only our x. So on the left side we have only our x equal to e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 or the final result we can easily write it in our denominator with the positive sign so x equal to 1 over e to the power minus Lambert W function of minus nature log 3 minus nature log nature log 3 okay uh, but uh, with the positive sign oh, but, uh, really like mistaken real quick so with the positive sign not like with a negative sign because we write it in our denominator yeah so with the positive sign and this is our this is our answer to this question but i was wondering when i when i check it on my calculator i was a little bit shocked because this lambda w function of nature log 3 lambda w function of minus nature log 3 does not exist okay does not uh, does not exist so it means that this expression that this expression so does not exist that this expression is a complex value so in terms of real numbers this expression does not exist so it means that these are a complex complex root and i was wondering a little bit about the graph how it happens maybe this uh, this uh, graph does not intersect with each other so in the beginning we had 3 to the power x equal to x and when i check it i was really happy about it that okay i solved it according to a complex number and of course i can like prove it because 3 to the power x when i plug in it in my um on my graph and calculator we can easily see that these graphs does not intersect as i hope with this moment you can easily see a graph from math library this is like a quick like, like sketch for me so you can easily see that these graphs does not intersect with each other so it means that right here we have complex complex root and that's why this lambda w function of minus natural extreme does not exist so it just prove my words that right here we have complex root so these graphs from geometric perspective does not intersect with each other and of course when we doesn't when uh, this graph does not intersect that it means that we don't have right here real number root so we can easily forget about real number root we have only complex root and this root is a complex because this expression does not exist in terms of real number root so let's write our final answer to this question our final answer so x equal to 1 over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log 3. This expression right here is a complex, uh, this uh, number double function of minus nature log 3 is a complex value. We can't find it in terms of real numbers and of course because of this expression, uh, because this x power, this this power is a complex value, so it means that our denominator is also a complex value. So this is our complex complex root and of course you can easily sketch this graph in the beginning and this is very suspicious because we have exponential function and linear function which looks like maybe this function does not intersect because there's like the second case where maybe this function intersect right here at this point and maybe sometimes goes like uh, to from this side to this side so maybe two points of intersection so this is very suspicious to do a graph but when you solve it and when you mm, see that this is our complex root you can easily sketch it and of course when you say that right here this is a complex root it means that right here we don't have po any points of intersection which is extremely great like for your teacher to to, to draw this sketch after this 
after this uh, answer. This is extremely important, important thing. So these are the complex root, not like roots, but root. We have only one root. We don't have uh, points of intersection. So you th you throw a graph, you throw a graph from a math library. So this is like a proof because maybe a lot of students like don't trust me. How is that possible? Maybe this is a real root. Maybe right here we do have we have a point of intersection. But as you can see, everything is clear and understandable. I guess you understand why we don't have right here point of intersection because these are a complex complex answer. And uh, thank you for your time. Wish all the best in your life. Take care of yourself. Write your thoughts, write your notes about this question down into the comment section. It would be really interesting to see your response, to see your information about this question. What do you think about it? It's really kind of you when you leave a response. When you leave a like or dislike, it's extremely great to, to improve my videos. And to, of course, if you leave a response, it's extremely great for me to ins I, I, I inspire us from it and I make a new content every day. So thank you everyone for, for watching my videos. I have like more than 500 videos on my YouTube channel. So I really hope that after 2022, because I think then I started uh, my, my channel. So I want to say thank you everyone for for being with me uh, since like 2022. I extremely uh, grateful for you and I genuinely thank you everyone for your support. Wish you all the best in your life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.